Wanna dream about you Oh yeah, got this world class view But it's you that I think about every time when my mind's on it And it's you that I think about every time when I feel alone And it's you that I call on my FaceTime when I need something real Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on me unboxing and trying on these products from my November BoxyCharm box. Alright, so this month's theme of the BoxyCharm box is Gold Digger and this is a list of all the products that I got this month with a retail price and a description on them. And the first thing that I got on the list is this Cover FX Glitter Drops Nova. And this retails for $44, so the first thing that I got were already doubled the price that I paid for this month's box, which is $21. So the second thing that I got is this Ace Butte Grandoise palette, and I'm pretty sure it's an eyeshadow palette. Yes, it's an eyeshadow palette, and it looks like this. It's a really warm tone, which I'm very happy about because BoxyCharm has been putting some cool tone palettes in here recently and I'm happy to see a warm tone palette. And this retails for $24.99. So again, we're well above $21 so far. All right, so the third thing that I got was the Luxie Luminous Eye Set. So these are eyeshadow brushes and they're really pretty. They're gold and glittery, which is my favorite. And these retail for $21. The fourth thing that I got is this Glittering Star Eyeliner. And I cannot pronounce the brand of this. I will put it below. But this retails for $5. And then last but not least, I got some Lashaholic Lashes Instagram False Eyelashes. And these retail for $14.99. And I'm really excited because I love fake lashes. And I've never gotten any in a BoxyCharm box before. So I'm excited to try these out. Alright, so as you can tell, I already have most of my face makeup done. And I did go ahead and do the brows. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with today is this eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And it's called Seminate. Cinnamon, 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 Cinnamon. And I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here called Cinnamon. And I am just going to apply that all in the crease as my transition shade. Okay, this is super pigmented and this is blending so well. Like I've barely done anything and it's already on the eye really well. So that's a plus. I mean, I haven't even blended that long and this looks, this went on really well. Okay, so I'm really dumb because I just got done adding that transition shade on my eyes and I realized that I got new eyeshadow brushes and I should have used that to apply it, but I'm going to open them up now and I'm going to use them for the rest of this look. Okay, so these brushes are really small, so I'm glad I didn't use them at first because I like using a like bigger um, blending brush to blend my transition shade so I didn't really miss out on much but for the next shade I'm gonna be going in it's gonna be more precise so I'm gonna go in with this smaller blending brush right here all right so I'm gonna take that fluffy brush and I'm gonna pick up the shade right here which is like a cranberry shade and it's called poppy and I'm gonna apply this in my crease a little bit lower than that transition shade but I'm just gonna blend those two colors in together All right, this is not cutting it. This is too small for me and it's really stiff. So I'm gonna go back in with that same brush I just used for my transition shade. And I'm just gonna blend these two colors in together really quick because I was gonna be here all day using this one right here, honestly. So I'm just going to blend that cranberry shade in with that cinnamon shade and just keep going. Okay, so I've never heard of this brand before ever, but I am so impressed with this eyeshadow. It's so pigmented and it's blending like a dream. And as soon as I get done shooting this video, I'm going to look up this brand and check out some more products because I like it that much. And I only use two eyeshadows, but hopefully I like the other shades as much as I do these two. But I'm super, super impressed and I give this a 10 out of a 10 so far. So, there you go. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is go in with this gold shade right here called Prime Rose with this Luxie brush that came in my box this month. And I'm going to apply this to the base of my eyelid. Y'all, I'm not kidding. Like, I'm I'm not kidding. This this palette, this palette is very, very good. Like probably one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I've used in a long time. I'm I'm digging it. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for my eyeshadow. I really like it the way that it is right now. It's gold and then it fades into a cranberry color. I'm not gonna add any more colors to it because I really do like the eye look I have so far. So next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Poppy with this short little blending brush that came in the Luxie set I got today. And I'm just going to brush this softly under my eye on my lower lash line. All right, so now that I smoked out my lash line with that shade Poppy, I'm gonna go in with this brush that came in my set today and the shade Jasmine, and I'm going to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner with this shade. So that completes it for my eyeshadow, and I'm going to give y'all guys a little run by. These brushes that I got, they were a little harsh and stiff, and they weren't really easy to blend with, and I would give them like a two or three out of a 10. But this eyeshadow palette is probably the best eyeshadow palette that I have used in a very long time. And I'm so shook by how pigmented and blendable this was. But I give this a 10 out of the 10, hands down. Like this, this is really good, some good stuff. I like the fact that I used three eyeshadow colors to create this look because it was really easy and it was fast. And I really like this look. It's a good like fall warm cranberry look. And I can definitely see myself creating this look again, especially since it just took me like three minutes to create. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to go in with is my eyeliner. And this is that eyeliner that came in my box. And it is the Glitter Star Eyeliner. I'm going to apply this on the top of my eyes and in the waterline as well. So I just got done applying my eyeliner and honestly this eyeliner was a little too dry for me. It was kind of hard to get it to come off onto the lid and it has glitter in it which I'm not really a big fan of having glitter in my eyeliner. Yeah it's okay. It's not like something I would go back and repurchase or hate but just giving y'all an honest review and it's okay. I've had way better. Alright, so next I'm going to coat my lashes with some mascara and I'm going in with the It's Superhero Mascara. And I actually got this in my last month's BoxyCharm box and I love this mascara. So thank you BoxyCharm for introducing this to me because I've been using this like every single day since. But I'm just going to apply a thin coat really quickly. All right, so now that I have my mascara applied, I'm gonna go in with these lashes that came in the box and apply those really quickly. All right, so I just went in and applied those lashes and I am obsessed with these lashes. They are so pretty. They retail for $14.99 and they remind me so much of the Miami from Lily Lashes that are $30. So, so last but not the least, I'm going to be going in with those Cover FX Glitter Drops. And I'm going to be using this as like a highlight. And honestly, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this because it is like a liquid highlighter, but it's glittery. Not like shimmer, it's glitter. So we're going to see how it goes, but I really do love the brand cover FX. So I'm sure I'll end up liking these as well too. So I'm just going to take a wet beauty sponge and this is my eco tool sponge. And I'm just going to apply just a little bit on there. And then I'm just going to pat that on my cheeks on both of them. And then I'm just going to softly blend it in where I would normally apply my highlighter. 
Y'all. Y'all, look at that. That is... That's intense. That's really intense. And I really like it a lot. So I overall really do like this. It is glittery, but it doesn't look too harsh on the cheeks. It's really smooth, fun glitter. This would be really pretty in the summertime to put like on your chest or anything like that. But I really do like this. It's pretty. All right, but since this is a liquid product, I'm gonna go in with some highlighter powder and I'm just going to apply that over it so it kind of sets it. All right, so that completes it for all the things that did come in my box, but I'm just gonna finish off this look by doing my lips really quick and I'm gonna be going in with the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Striped. And then I'm gonna put some of this Buxom Lip Gloss on top of it. And this is in the shade Sandy. All right, you guys, so that completes it for this look, and this is the finished product, and I'm very, very happy with the way that this look turned out. I think this November BoxyCharm box is probably the best one that I've ever gotten so far, and I would say that strictly because of the eyeshadow palette and because of the lashes. I really, really do enjoy them. But all right, you guys, that concludes it for today's video. And if you guys liked it, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you are not already, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.